I've gotten a lot of questions about Ondo lately, and this is a token that is taking the crypto market by storm in this current bull market. Today, let's talk about what Ondo is, why it's gaining such traction, and what we can expect out of this coin having to do with real world assets. We'll talk about what real, what real world assets are and why this is significant and something to keep your eye on in this upcoming bull market. Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, do your own research, guys, but let's get into a little bit more detail about what Ando is and what you need to know. Um, so today, the overall market is doing pretty well for Bitcoin. We're at, you know, right dancing at the $70,000 level. Bitcoin came all the way down to like 68, and we're just bouncing from like 68 to $70,000 today. I believe that we could get another leg up here for Bitcoin and crypto overall. Soon, if you look at what's going on in Bitcoin, we're kind of in a range. We could be getting a breakout in the next eight days or so, seeing this little wedge we got going on. And I expect the new high to be taken out. Along with that, I expect the overall market cap for crypto to go up as well. And it is certainly headed in the right direction right now. Got a red weekly candle close as of last night. But today we got a beginning to this week that is green. Last month was green for crypto. So this month is starting green. Let's see how it pans out uh, over the next two months. But everybody's looking for the next big altcoin. And Ondo is one that has certainly caught people's attention. Now, right now, it is not really up here at the top of this top gainers chart, but uh, and it's not really at the top bottom of the uh, you know big losers on the day. But it has been tracking v rather well. If you look at the action for this price chart over its all time history, this thing has been kind of coming up consistently over time. In the last year, this thing came all the way from twenty one cents all the way up to today to a dollar and 38 cents. So basically, you know, a little over a 5X at this point, a 7X or almost a six or seven X at this point, which is pretty darn good uh, over last year, guys. That's, that's really good. So definitely getting some traction, gaining some interest. It's got a large market cap of about $2 billion right now. Uh, it's number 65 in overall coin position. I think this thing could be in the top... 30, maybe even in the top 20. Who knows if it could be bigger? And it's not one that I've really focused on because it's a lot to chew on for a lot of people and it's not the most maybe exciting token. But today, let me share a little bit of information with you that might show you why this should be on your radar at least. First of all, I still got more exchange listings ahead on a couple big exchanges. Coinbase does not have, um, doesn't look like it's on crypto.com, I don't believe. It could be on crypto.com. I don't think it's on Binance at this point. So we'll see for more exchange listings there. But what the heck are real world assets? Because if you're looking at Ondo, then what you're bullish on would be real world assets in crypto. So real world assets are real world assets in crypto refers to the tokenization of tangible assets that exist in the physical world that are brought on the blockchain, right? This includes uh Real estate, this includes potentially, uh, here you go, real estate, loans, uh, U.S. treasuries recently, uh, another source of DeFi yield opportunities, and potentially giving more opportunities and higher yield instead of holding cash in the traditional markets. And so now you go back to Ondo and what they have going on. And here's a, here's a good example for you, a tweet from Ondo themselves which only has 31K views, and I think they're going to get more eyes on them as time goes on. To attract a vast off-chain capital, right, real-world assets that people are looking to bring on-chain, tokenized real-world assets must offer a clear advantage over traditional counterparts. Without compelling benefits, the majority of the world's money will remain uninterested in transitioning to the blockchain. So how do you get them in? Well, money, right? Yield coins. Yield coins are something new. Uh, that, that are trying to attract people to these real world assets on the blockchain. Yield coins are a clear demonstration of these benefits, reducing the opportunity cost of holding cash while enabling capital efficiency through um, composability with the digital asset economy. So the potential of tokenization becomes even more apparent where you know they're offering these yield coins, USDY. And if you go over to the website for Ondo, here you go. Institutional grade finance now on chain. 
Here's the USDY coin, 5.3%. This is pretty darn good yield, guys. So they're just coming up with some ideas. They are backed by Coinbase, which is huge. Pantera, which is massive. Founders Fund, I'm not familiar with. They work with high quality asset managers like BlackRock, which is the whale in the room, the elephant in the room, and PIMCO, and other big regulata regulated uh, service providers. So Ondo is doing a lot to grow. If you look at their socials, <coughs> excuse me, they have 140K followers right now on Twitter, and they're working on growing. I'll leave you with this, guys. We went to the consensus conference, uh, me and my partner, Black C, on this channel and down in Austin, Texas. And when it came to looking at where we're at in crypto overall, we are still in the infancy. And especially for real world assets, real estate on the blockchain, that is coming at some point for true ownership of property rights, protection of property rights, and a whole onslaught of other opportunities for real world assets coming in the blockchain. We looked at this one uh, presentation for real world assets and just looking at what's going on in crypto and the opportunity for real world assets across the globe is in, <coughs> excuse me, not the billions of dollars, not trillions, quadrillions. I didn't even know there's quadrillions of dollars in the world. Technically there's not in terms of cash, but when you add up all the assets in the world, we're looking at an opportunity that is so huge with real world assets. And again, looking at Ondo, this is only a $2 billion market cap. Now, I'm not telling you this is going to be a trillion dollar market cap. I'm not telling you this is going to be a quadrillion dollar market cap. You still have to look into what the utility is for the Ondo token. We'll dive into that in another video. But everybody in crypto is focused on not necessarily utility. You look at meme coins. People are speculating, right? into projects that they believe in. Why do they believe in a meme? Because people believe in it. Many people believe in it. It gets talked about. There's some excitement. There's good marketing behind it. Ondo being such a big segment for crypto related to real world assets, getting a partnership essentially, or a uh, having a relationship with BlackRock in a certain capacity and Coinbase and these others, Pantera Capital, and so many more. This could get some good momentum. I wouldn't be surprised to see an easy 10X out of this, possibly even more. Just a coin I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about. I know I got some questions about that. So there's a video on Ando, guys. That's all I got on this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Smash the like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Don't forget to DCA HODL. Two videos for you here. Check them out. Peace, y'all.